This is Twit. All right, let's talk about this uh, 6 gigahertz CPU. Because yeah. Intel, I really yeah. thought Intel hit a wall with yeah, five. Around four? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. four, yeah. really, technically. Mm -hmm. uh, but they got to close to five. Wasn't the Itanium going to be... Yeah, faster sure. and that and then it was so hot that they they really so how long ago was it remember when apple wanted the mo well what power pc to hit one gigahertz yeah and it couldn't right and that's what trans that's what caused them to switch to go. intel we live in an era though of performance per watt <laughs> don't we yeah i Different mean it's, it, it, it is fascinating that the value that intel can still add is to just throttle this thing and make it go What's Crazy. the TPU so, on uh, on a six gigahertz? Right, I think it's a hundred and fifty. <laughs> it's like that's, I think you could heat the I house. Don't have is what you're posted. saying? It's, it's yeah. I, when you, you first of all, you need the same plug uh, that you use for your dryer. Or <laughs> you need two hundred forty one. <laughs> when you when, when you boot up your computer, it's like that scene in uh, Christmas Vacation where all the lights in the town yeah. go on down and then the yeah. nuclear power comes up. Um, I remember yeah, Tom's hardware demonstrated getting a processor to five gigahertz by cooling it with liquid nitrogen. Yeah, I remember those like, days. Yeah. 2003 yeah. or 2004 with yeah. the P4s. Yeah. Like, right. yeah. So this thing is 24 cores, eight performance, yep. 16 efficiency. Wow. So this is the 13th gen desktop class chip. So they announced the original. Oh, the TDP is the, uh, the TDP is 150 watts. It is 100. Yeah, that's a base. That's the base TDP. Yeah. This is a core, yeah, right, exactly. Uh, core, yeah, uh, core, core i9, right? Like you said, 24 cores. Um, yeah, six gigahertz without overclocking. And it can be overclocked, by the way. Um, wow. I think it must be a K, yeah, KS series. Uh, it is, processor, okay. So. That means it's it's overclockable. Yep, yep. <laughs> Man. There you go, crazy. Yeah. Unlocked, in 12, in 12 unlocked. core unlocked. This is a 13th like gen. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Well, th it's, obviously they're doing that, you know, clearly they're doing that because in response to what Apple and, uh, and Arm and Qualcomm right, are doing, right. it's like, right. okay, well, throw some power at it. We can beat the pants off of you. Yeah, but the thing is, <laughs> like an M whatever, an M2 Ultra, just from a die size, right? Has got to be like comparing a Volkswagen Bug to a yeah, they're very different Cadillac beasts. from the 1970s. But also right? unified memory. There's a whole. Yeah. It's a yeah. big system yeah, it's on a, a whole chip. It's a whole yep. different animal. Yep. Yep. Well, the point being, I wasn't being held up by my CPU in the first place. Yeah. So there, right? Like, right. That's not I, the CPU for the most part. Smokes cigarettes and plays poker, <laughs> waiting for memory <laughs> right. and network to catch up. Right. That's right. That's right. Um, but they can do it, and that's good. Did, did they say what the process is? Is it is an 11 nanometer process? Right. Yeah, that's a good question. No, it's got to, well, it could be 11, actually. I, I mean, what's how small could it be? At seven at, at the most? Yeah, I don't think Intel's doing class. anything less than 10, are they? Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's desktop class, so it's going to be bigger. Um, well, have to be desktop. You'd have five minutes of battery life on a laptop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to plug this into the plane. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, uh, there's bragging rights there. Six gigahertz. Wow. You know? I know. It's crazy. And, well, it's Raptor Lake. So that is yeah. um, that is 10. Raptor Lake is 10. 10, 10, 10. Meter. Okay, there you go. Yeah. So this will be the only system that's capable of uh, displaying a Windows 11 context menu in real time. So, <laughs> you know, it, he's, and once he's again, spent hours Windows, on that one. Yeah, <laughs> Windows, is ahead of, Windows is ahead of the hardware. I'm just saying, you know, so, I mean, some days. Look how responsive my search pill is. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you right click and you're like one, two, there two. it is. It's, there. You know, the, the, <laughs> you the know. list price is six ninety nine, which seems to me not that expensive. I was going to say it's, that's not that bad for what it no. is, right? It could, yeah, because you can easily spend $1,000 on a scene. I think this on. is, right. yeah, this is, right, this is kind of a... Workstation class thing, I would think. I know yeah. it's not a Xenon, but it, it seems Zeon. like this is a Xenon. I'm yeah, Zeon. Xenon. Yeah. Xenon. Xenon. Xenon would be a the, uh, noble glass. Xenon Zeon is also the code name for the first Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's um, right. Project Xenon. Yeah. Yeah, Xenon. Sorry. Um, this yeah, is cool. I, I, I think this is literally about bragging rights. I, it I, is. Mm, it is. That's all it is. Yeah. It is. And Apple, you know, it, it's going to be easier because Apple... Uh, Gained so much going to the M1, but they're not now. It's going to be very much incremental. We've already seen it. Which with the we M2. saw, it, by the way. So yeah. I, one of my annoyances with this uh, Apple uh, video it wasn't really an event, I guess, was 
they compared the speed of every one of the chips they announced to its predecessor. Oh, and also to the last generation Intel that we used, which, by the way, was like three right. or four years ago. Right. In some yeah, cases. Right. Like, like it's like, yeah, of course, there's, it's double there's a reason for that, though. The, they were still selling Intel yeah, Mac yeah. minis. They no, were I still know. selling Intel iMacs. Well, but they so had it, mm -hmm. They were, but they also had M1 versions. Of these <clears throat> yeah, things. but they, I mean, but this was, this stuff is, they're no longer selling that stuff. So I think, okay, that, I think the good. idea is, well, you know, this is why yeah, we're not going to sell I guess. But if you look Intel. at, but to your point, when you look at the performance advantage of each of those chips over its direct predecessor, it was low, maybe low double digit. Yeah, it's like 20, maybe not even. Okay, yeah. maybe. Yeah, maybe. I mean, so yeah, we're starting to see that kind of curve even out, um, which makes sense. This thing's, you know, and to Richard's right. point, doesn't matter because most of the time I've not I haven't felt my any laptop I've ever I've used in the last five years has been slow yep. exactly. CPU bound. Well, except yeah. when you yeah. right click on the desktop. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean for the most part, you almost yeah. always know it's software though when it's when that things like that happen. It's like, oh yeah. yeah, you can you can you can feel when you are reverent. You can yeah. actually hear it. It's like a little what, what, you know, wind sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes. And it's then like, it comes up, you're like, oh, it's look at like Volkswagen beautiful. bug engine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, right. Strains right. for 72 miles exactly. an hour. We're not going up a hill, are we? What's going on here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. AMD's doing some cool stuff, too. Yeah. Let's give them credit. And they're doing some very low power uh, chips, high, high right. battery life chips. So yeah. uh, this is good. The competition is all good. <laughs> yeah. Good. Well, they can, with in the area they can compete in, which is large sure. numbers. That's the thing. That, I, that actually is kind of my point. Like this is this is where Intel can innovate right now. Mm -hmm. the, it's sort of like with the eighth gen. Remember, they went from dual core to quad core on the uh, on the U series. So it was like this is where we can provide, you know, value. Mm -hmm. it, it we don't have that super efficient power per watt thing that Apple's talking about. It's going to be a while. We're working on that. Uh, but we can do this. Oh, you want you, you want like a twelve cylinder engine? Oh, yeah, we can do that. <laughs> you know, that's the, their big block. You know, that's that's kind of where they're at still. So they'll get there, or they'll disappear. You know, either way, we'll 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 survive. We live in, uh, I think, great times for computer users. I do too. Yeah. Computers have mm -hmm. never been better. I will for all yeah. the nonsense we can complain about PCs and whatever. I review a lot of computers. Computers today are terrific. Mm -hmm. Though they really are. They really are. They're just terrific. Okay. Listeners of this program get an ad free version if they're members of Club Twit. $7 a month gives you ad free versions of all of our shows, plus membership in the Club Twit Discord, a great clubhouse for Twit listeners. And finally, the Twit Plus feed with shows like Stacy's Book Club, The Untitled Linux Show, The Giz Fizz, and more. Go to twit.tv slash Club Twit. And thanks for your support.